A missing five-year-old Stark County girl who sparked a statewide Amber Alert is back home safe and sound with family tonight. Anna Grace Burke was found in Illinois last night and the man accused of abducting her is now charged with kidnapping. News 5's Jay Jarvis has an update tonight from Stark County. It's a happy ending to a terrifying story. I'm very happy to be able to say that Anna Burke was recovered yesterday in Illinois and she has been reunited with her family. Jackson Township Police Major Jim Monagle confirming five-year-old Anna Grace Burke is back home where she belongs. And the man accused of abducting her, 36-year-old Jonathan Lee Stinnett, is facing several charges, including kidnapping, abduction, and interference with custody. Police say Thursday evening, Stinnett got into a car with Anna and disappeared. Stinnett is Anna's neighbor, and police say he and another woman had permission to be with her. They were at a Goodwill store in Canton when Stinnett took Anna to the bathroom in another business and never returned. Friday afternoon, a statewide Amber Alert went out for Anna, and later that day, police released these photos of Stinnett in his car outside of a business in Knox County, Ohio, taken just a few hours after Anna was abducted. Then late last night, the two were found just outside of Bloomington, Illinois. The McLean County Sheriff's Office saying on Facebook that someone called in a suspicious vehicle around 730. According to sheriff's deputies, they found Stinnett sleeping in the front seat with Anna in the back. Monagold thanking the several agencies involved in the search, including the FBI and Ohio State Highway Patrol. It was truly amazing that so many people offered help and so many people did assist. Um, the levels of cooperation in this investigation are what I really believe brought this to the conclusion that it did. Police say Anna was taken to a hospital in Illinois for a medical evaluation and has now been reunited with family. As for Stinnett, he's locked up in the McLean County Jail in Illinois and will be extradited back to Ohio. The FBI says he could possibly face federal charges. Jay Jarvis, News 5.